Let me show you how we can combine chemistry from previous webcasts into a useful synthetic process that's known as reductive amination. Reductive amination results in products that are amines, like this one. These more complicated amines are derived themselves from simpler amines together with a carbonyl derivative, an aldehyde or a ketone. We know that in the forward direction, the carbonyl derivative plus an amine will lose water to make a carbon-nitrogen double bond of an imine. At a pH of about 6, the carbon-nitrogen double bond can become protonated, and that will make an aminium cation. We've seen the aminium cation before. There will now be a proton on that nitrogen and the original R group that came from the amine. This is a polarized pi bond, and we can expect in the presence of a strong nucleophile, like a hydride nucleophile, that this will undergo AD sub n nucleophile addition to that polarized pi bond. And it's by that sequence of events, imine formation, followed by hydride addition, that we end up making the product of reductive amination. And so you can see in this product, the new bond is this carbon-nitrogen bond that was preceded by the carbon-nitrogen double bond resulting from imine formation of these two components. Typical hydride sources are sodium borohydride derivatives, such as this triacetate, or sodium cyanoborohydride. In the first example, our amine is ammonia, and the carbonyl derivative is the ketone, acetophenone. We're going to make the imine across this carbon-oxygen double bond, and that's going to get reduced to make the new amine that's shown here. In the second example, what we're doing is adding two methyl groups. Those methyl groups come from formaldehyde, and so you should write the mechanism for this which is really two successive reductive aminations. We'll first make the imine of this amine. There's the imine of formaldehyde, and that's how we're going to put the first methyl group on that nitrogen. So following protonation of that imine and reduction of that imine, we'll end up putting the first methyl group on. And so the intermediate that will form is shown here. There'll be a, initially one methyl group on, and now this secondary amine is capable of combining with formaldehyde. And in this case, we'll end up making an aminium cation. We don't need to protonate it at all. It's going to result in an aminium cation. It'll have a methyl group and then a carbon-nitrogen double bond from formaldehyde with a positive charge. Reduction of that we'll add the second methyl group on, and that's how this product is formed. Two successive reductive amination steps for each of the two hydrogen atoms on this primary amine. Reductive amination is a powerful way to make complicated amines from simple amines through imine derivatives.